Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and I am playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 as Col uh, Cuba, Fascist Cuba. We are slowly eating our way around all of the Americas. We're fighting Mexico at the moment. Germany has just capitulated, and Spain is getting close to making France capitulate, I think. Which will be amusing. They only have... they have very low national unity still. Let's have a look, actually. Japanese-Chinese War. France is halfway there. Be interesting to see if uh, Spain can pull that off before all of these guys reshuffle back to the west. But I think they're going to stay and fight the Soviets. Okay, let's see how this war is going. Slowly pushing forward. Venezuela's army is pretty rubbish with their complete lack of supply. And we're just giving stuff to the US up there, so let's cancel that. The US can get that, that crap themselves. All of you should be on this line, and all of you should be pushing forward. Uh, let's adjust our policy of occupation to get more factories. Send infrastructure repairs to the bottom of the list. And civ factories to the top. We have free military factories, but we have lots of broken stuff, so... That's not much of a concern. We're pretty much caught up in infantry equipment, so I'll put this extra line back down to the bottom. So the steel is going to get used elsewhere. Do we have destroyer twos yet? No. Hey, we lost some convoys to Mexican Air Force. Where are our convoys going? Oh. That lost a little bit of our marines. Let's reassign them. Uh, no, that should be alright. We'll cover the other side. I don't know if they even have any convoys. They do have some convoys, but they're not going to be doing much trading. Can you guys move up? help the fights on both sides while our marines push down towards capital which doesn't appear to be guarded where are you guys all moving in good be nice if you could do it a bit quicker Okay, we can modify the government again, and we're going to need more manpower. That's getting very low. Um, service by requirement is the next step, but we're going to lose some output and construction time. The other option is to loosen up our... Um, loosen up our... Oh, occupation laws. So we get some manpower from what we're holding. Which may actually be worthwhile. We might do that with Mexico, I think. Oh, there is some really nice manpower down here. What was that? That was Colombia? Yes. Let's loosen up Colombia. How many resources do they have? Just oil. Are we short on oil? No, we've got a ton of surplus now. So let's loosen up our control of them. 
go gentlest and we'll get a little more manpower out of them. Which may update at the end of the month, we'll see. Okay, we've taken the Mexican capital. Capture some of these other cities, please. Don't help them. Try to encircle them. All these Venezuelan guys are good for is holding the line, it seems. They have no organization, they have no equipment. Venezuela can't keep up with the amount of cannons they need. <laughs> France has capitulated to Spain. What a joke. At least we know the war is going to keep going for quite some time, so we're st going to continue to be safe. Can you guys push on up? Maybe even come over and help that? Oh, we're really running out of manpower now. How many people have we lost? Falanges Cuba. Only 78k. So we must just be putting too many into divisions. Let's have a look at these guys. So they have suppression of 9.6. How about we just remove them down to 3. How much manpower does that free up? A thousand. 12,000 less manpower, 1,400 less equipment, but also 2.4 less suppression. Not really worthwhile at the moment. Why are you guys going that way instead of there? You can go that way. You guys not covering all that properly? Yes you are. Why are you not doing such a good job then? Maybe if we take them off there. Mexico has capitulated, we've got better support weapons, go crush that little pocket. Okay, these troops are rubbish, so how about we just use them to occupy?
They should have the capacity for that at least. Okay, research. Mid 41. Let's get better guns done. We need more support equipment. We need more artillery. We need a little bit more towed anti tank. Venezuela wants to send us another division? No. Okay, Mexico is gone. Um, let's have a look at our occupation. Okay, we've done, we're done with Mexico, let's chuck our guys into, not there, into Brazil, or well, the front line with Brazil. Get them ready for the push. But we've got some encryption. Let's grab some resource gain efficiency to give ourselves a little bit more of our resources. Or a bonus to them. Ugh. Equipment effort 3. Good, good. Um, I think we'll go with secret weapons so we can get the bit of research speed bonus. You guys, I want you to have a front line of taking the coast, I guess. Loving how there's that random part of the US in South America. This line doesn't need to be this long at all. Yeah, they, the US took that during the war with um, Colombia. Okay, this should... Why is there still resistance? Can you guys shuffle around a bit faster? Okay, we have to go up in um, conscription laws now. We need the people. Where are a lot of our people? Hmm. You guys are slowly getting into position. You guys are slowly covering all the land. Shouldn't be seeing any resistance anywhere. This is silly. Spain is still holding on. Czechoslovakia is growing a little bit. Soviets are now pushing their way into what was Germany. And a bit of Poland, actually. Um, alright. So. Time to get better destroyers. Yeah, I think we're going to go for Brazil next. And hope that we can... Hope that Venezuela and Peru don't just claim it for themselves. 
Okay, so we want to conquer. And I basically want to make sure that I get the coasts. Actually, can I see... where their factories are. Not exactly. But all of this land is pretty useless. We want all of that state. Definitely this state. Okay. Probably those five if we have the claims on them, we should get given them, even if Venezuela and Peru start taking it. So we'll fabricate that. How are we looking for resources? We've got a ton of surplus oil. We're actually balanced on tungsten. We need more steel. And we actually need a little bit of aluminium now. Not too concerned for steel. We are pretty much on top of everything. And building an excess of weapons, which is always great. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> yes, we, we sure do have low manpower. Thanks for spotting that game. Um, Okay, how long do we have that claim? September. We will probably have a couple more divisions out by then. Let's just check they actually have everything we want. Yes, they do. This guy must be getting pretty damn good. He's a mountaineer, invader. He's almost a trickster. He's halfway to level 6. We will see how we go with Brazil. It'd be nice if I could actually have a look at what Venezuela actually has in stocks, apart from looking at their armies and seeing that they are short on infantry equipment and towed artillery. Are they actually producing the right stuff they need, is what I'm wondering. We could give them some weapons to improve that army that we are controlling. Peru has a lot more decent strength. Actually, let's do that. Let's start a lend lease to give Venezuela a tiny amount of our equipment we're producing. Let's give them like 20%. That's, that's going to take 11 convoys, even though, oh, I guess our capital is off. So we'll do that until these armies are actually worthwhile having again. I might move that cavalry over just into our military police division. And we're looking pretty good on everything. How are our constructions going? We're still repairing factories. We don't really need those naval factories, uh, the naval bases anymore. Good, we've got military police too. That'll make our divisions a bit better at their job. Uh, let's grab... What do we want? Hey, we can get... Let's get our weapons 3 with the reduction on ahead of time penalty. 17 of September. About 10 days away from being able to fight Brazil. I have a decent sized army. 
but we should be all right. <sighs> can't believe can't believe France lost to Spain with how many divisions everyone else has over here. The Allies might be in trouble now, because the Soviets are coming in from the east. Spain is holding their ground in the west. The UK has a... Ah, oh, that's ships. Ah, okay. The UK still has a ton of divisions, and so do the US. But the US seems to be keeping a lot of them as garrisons. Uh, okay, I want to move our fleet down. Ooh, do we want to go that far? Yeah, that should be fine, actually. We finished our, finished our justification. Our armies are pretty much all in position. Let's get that started. Brazil has joined the Axis. We've finished our secret weapons. Let's grab our Doctrine Boosts. Got destroyer twos, fantastic. Let's grab <clears throat> Hmm. Probably should do planes. Let's watch to see if we lose... Yeah, we're giving the territory to... Um, what's his name? Venezuela. But that should be fine. Once we start getting into the states we have claims on, we should be the ones to get it. Improved artillery is ready. Let's get... Upgrades for our anti-tank guns. Let's switch this to be improved. And I want one destroyer, and then replace that with destroyer twos. With slightly better engines. Build into our fleet. Alright, looking good. And Peru took that. They must have had they must have a border between there and there. We'll see. We'll either be strengthening our partners in the war or we'll um be taking the claims that we have and they'll take the rest. How's resistance looking now that these guys are balanced out? Still some. Can you guys just push straight in? Is Brazil sending volunteers or anything? No. Oh, they would have been brought back with that fight anyway. Italy is now being liberated. 
We're missing anti. Oh shit. Fuck. Good job, me. Replaced our uh, anti tank gun line with artillery. Although, that being said, we don't need anti tank guns at the moment. Oh, you're even fucking pushing land for the UK. Could you guys not? I don't really care about pushing my friends, but not my war partners. Brazil divisions have low supply. Oh, we both do, really. Hmm, that's painful. How about half of you just wait back then? Some mighty long walks through the jungle. This is going to be a very slow fight, I think. It's taking a long time to get anywhere. Especially with the low infrastructure in the zone. Very, very slow movement. Okay, we've got enough points to modify the government again. I think we'll grab the light aircraft guy. Since we um, are starting to build planes soon. <clears throat> Crossing a river, supply is low and infrastructure is crap. Good stuff. Um, okay, we've got plenty of convoys now, so I might drop that and add some more destroyers. Let's drop some of these factories and then put them back so our uh, uh, artillery upgrades are getting priority. We're not really using our navy, so I'll put that further down. Six months later, we might actually make some steps. Tempted to even just do a naval invasion, let these guys crawl through, and we'll just move through the areas. Yeah, let's do that. So let's delete this line. Uh, actually, we want some people there. I 
and we'll set up a naval invasion. Where do we own? From there to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's actually just send six. So it'll plan faster. And the rest of them could be on that line. Why is there a health bar? Is that telling me the progress for the naval invasion? Because if so, that is fantastic. I think it is. Awesome. I don't think I've noticed that before, so maybe that's a 1.1 update feature. It's going to take 30 days for him to plan, but it's probably going to take them longer than that just to get there. Uh, okay, let's put that line back. Go for the capital. And another line from that invasion point to take, like, that. Okay, we've got Doctrine Effort. Let's finish off the army. Actually, no. Oh, it's too late now. I was going to say let's finish off the army effort. But um, I do need some air efforts. Okay, how are we looking? 20 more days. Cool, we've got more Doctrine. Hmm, is it going to be worth pushing up yet? Probably not. Let's grab some Naval Doctrine. We're not going to be doing much fleet in being. This is all submarines, light ship, well, battleships. Is there one that's going to be worthwhile for destroyers? That's looking like the most worthwhile. We're not going to be doing carrier stuff. We will be doing some submarines, so let's go with base strike. We're not going to be having a big mixed fleet. Cool, we're actually sinking some... Brazilian convoys. Spain is taking Africa. Spain is pushing Switzerland. Italy's being liberated. Allies are getting pushed back by Soviets. This is a very interesting war. China is still fighting Japan. Okay, let's get more construction speed and put some of our factories to good use. I think we will fix our deficits. Whoops. Just three. Uh, fix some of our deficits, deficits on resources and put some effort into building more factories. Naval Invasion is nearly ready to go. People are still moving up there though. And I am over time to put another break in. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you've been enjoying. Uh, like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you in the next episode.